Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Civivi's got a couple of new knives, and I requested this one from them to check it out, and I'll show you why. Uh, this is the Civivi Typhoeus. Um, Typhoeus, I had to look that one up, and the Typhoeus is actually, a, in Greek mythology, it was a monstrous storm giant um, that laid siege to heaven, but was defeated by Zeus and imprisoned in a pit. Um, basically, it's it, it's the source of devastating storms, according to the mythology, and it's described as a winged giant said to be essentially um, like a man from the waist up uh, with two coiled serpents in place of his legs. Um, it had a hundred serpent heads for fingers, a filthy matted beard, pointed ears, and its eyes flashed fire. Okay, well instead what do we have? We have got a aluminum handle in what they're calling a black stonewash finish in a single-sided sharpened dagger here. And that dagger uh, is made, um, the, the blade steel on this is 14C28N 20 uh, with a Rockwell of around 58 to 60. So, look at that thing. Now you're probably saying something is up. I mean, it, why is it designed that way? Looks like it's got a hinge. Well, first of all, obviously if you're doing some, you know, kitchen work, meat prep, stuff like that, this would work great for that, opening mail. Um, but watch this. Look at that. Did you catch that? Go from this to this. A standard, almost drop pointy looking knife, pocket knife, or a dagger. So that, I guess, is why they called it, um, you know, the, the Typhoeus. It's a unique configuration. It comes in about five different versions, different colors. I got the green aluminum handle one. You can also get it um, in a purple color with a G10 handle, black with a G10, um, black, gray, and aluminum, and kind of a red, black, and aluminum with a Damascus blade. But it's a unique design, silky smooth, just the way this lever's right here. Now, what am I going to use it for? I don't know. I, I have to see. Uh, it's kind of an interesting um, option here. Now, one of the things, though, is it only carries in the sheath uh, in this configuration right here. So I assume it's designed, you know, carry it on your belt or something, pull it out, and it's got the blade down ready to go. Now, the Civivi logo is right here, and I'm always trying to put it in this like this because it's not on my belt. And that causes uh, me to think maybe there should be a little larger cutout or a separate cutout or something. Or is there any way that it could be carried in this configuration? You know, something like that. It does not lock in either one, so it easily moves. But when it's in this position, since it the way this opens requires the spine of the handle to be lifted, anything, any any time you're pushing down on it, you're actually seating it into this configuration a lot stronger. And then here, once you see that this has to lift to separate, so once you're holding this tight, there is zero movement. It can't move because it has to lift. So it is it is well thought out. It's kind of a unique design. I have not seen something quite like it. I've seen a lot of knives that kind of shape shift, but this was something that really caught my attention. Uh, I wasn't sure how big it was going to be. I wasn't sure, you know, how smooth, um, of how, you know, uh, elegant it would be. I do like it. It's kind of a neat design, you know. Silky smooth, stainless steel hardware. Kind of a neat, fun little fidget tool, I guess. Bring it to the office and play with it at your desk, maybe. But it also has, of course, some self-defense capabilities, and it's uh, being a Civivi, you know, just has that quality. It's not a cheap knife. This one's going to be, you know, a little under 100. But if you're into things like this, I can recommend it. 
Um, I was a little worried. I've, I've played with a few kind of, like I said, shape-shifting knives and had them, you know, feel a little clunky or you kind of wonder, gosh, am I going to hurt myself if I do something? And this one seems to have a firm lockup in both positions so you're not worried about it closing or changing. Um, you can see that right there, the blade steel, and it is a Civivi design. Now, it is made clear in the instructions that it is a, a this is called a dagger, I guess, but it's only sharpened on one side. A lot of jurisdictions do not allow two edges to be sharpened. Um, in fact, the Bowie knife, the classic Bowie has that swedge at the top that may or may not be sharpened, depending on that. But the name, David Bowie, uh, the musician, he took that from the Bowie knife, or Bowie knife, and um, the original ones, these were sharpened on the top, so you could cut up as well as down, hence it cut both ways, hence David Bowie took the, David Bowie took the name, because it cuts both ways, however you want to take that. But anyway, there it is, the Civivi Typhoeus. I think I'm saying that right. Unique knife. And with that, Doc out.